Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Light back with another YouTube video. And uh, in today's video, we're going to be doing a bit of something different uh, than we usually do on this channel. And it's going to be uh, showing you guys every movie and uh, TV show I've watched in March 2021 here. So yeah, you can see here, big uh, big list. I do, I'm, I'm considering doing this monthly. Uh, and this is also from a bit from uh february you can see here i've watched a lot of movies this month and march isn't even over i'm actually recording this a little bit of uh into march because i do try and pre-record just because i'm not uh, i don't have really much time to, to do it other times so that's the reasoning why but yeah you can see here i don't know the exact count but yeah the reason why i'm doing this is kind of giving my recommendations or um yeah i guess recommendations giving a rating just show you guys maybe what videos to expect like i filmed videos on some of these movies and stuff uh some of the yeah so like for example cherry i filmed the review knives out sonic i talked about the predator movies and stuff like that uh not all these movies will get a review slash um get a review or uh uh, let's talk about this so i just want to make sure that's clear as well some of these are just funnier movies and stuff that i just watch just to watch um and yeah these are only movies this is like my first time ever seeing this uh or i just haven't seen it in a while so i want to make sure that's clear as well because i have actually watched uh way more movies like i rewatched the whole mcu as well um see so yeah, that's just something else to be clear on as well um, yeah, and there's a few shows, ongoing shows that I'm still watching and stuff like that. So I want to make sure that's clear as well. Uh, yeah, I think more so this, this is going to just be movies to be honest with you. I don't even think there's any shows. So <clears throat> yeah, cause I'm currently watching some shows and stuff so like that. So yeah, I want to make sure that's clear as well. But yeah, let's get into this. Uh, so I'm just going to say the movie and I'm going to give a rating out of I don't know, 10, and give a few thoughts if I thought it was really good, really bad, whatever. Alright, let's begin with this. Outside the Wire. Definitely an interesting movie, action-based, really pretty well. Um, I think I, Anthony Mackie was pretty good in it. Uh, it's just a bit forgettable, to be honest with you. Uh, 7 out of 10. Uh, I, ton, ton, Tanya, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, pretty much biography on tanya harding skater interesting movie i must say very interesting uh there's a lot of weird stuff that goes on in it i'm gonna be honest with you guys it's a, there's a lot of strange things um a lot of randomness weird like yeah again but i margot robbie did a really good job as portraying tanya harding uh, Sebastian Stan did also a very good job. The whole cast did a good job. I thought this movie was pretty good, honestly. I thought it was easily, uh, if it didn't strange me out, I would have maybe said 9 out of 10. But I'll just say an 8.5 uh, out of 10. Ma Rainey needs Black Bottom. Uh, this was a good movie. Uh, really, I thought the writing was good. Uh, I thought it did a really good job in adaptation. Acting uh, was really through the roof. I thought uh, Chadwick Boseman, I thought he did a Oscar-worthy job. I'm not just saying that. I think he, I truly believe he did an Oscar-worthy job. I think he did it really, really well. Really, just really enjoyable to watch. I was uh, super happy to uh that we got such a good performance out of him in his last movie. So yeah, rest in peace to him. But yeah, other than that, so I would say this movie's nine nine point five out of ten, really good. Uh, Imperial Dreams, uh, another pretty good movie. Uh, really enjoyable. Uh, John Boyega it was nice to see how jo John Boyega acted before he was in Star Wars and stuff like that. So I thought, yeah. John Boyega did an excellent job. I really enjoyed his acting job in this. Uh, the cast was good as well. 
uh, enjoyable. I feel like this movie's a bit underrated, like it hasn't been spoken about or anything like that. Uh, personally, I think it it's good. I don't think it's awesome, but it's good. It tells a good message and stuff like that. So I would say I'll give it a 7.5, maybe an 8 out of 10. Uh, let's go. Hitman's Bodyguard. Um has funny moments it has it has pretty funny moments really enjoy the tag team of samuel jackson ryan reynolds uh, pretty pretty enjoyable saw so, some solid action scenes as well it's not like it's terrible or anything um it's pretty funny too so yeah it it's not it's it's good but not from a cinematic point of view if you understand what i mean but it is funny i watched it because i thought it was funny so I give it uh let's let's say eight out of ten, seven out of ten maybe. Uh then we got the Hangover trilogy. I'll just rank them here. You can see here Hangover trilogy. Uh watch that for the first time. Those movies are funny. Uh -huh. really enjoyable. But again, I just watched it for a fun laugh. I didn't really watch it too much so for cinematic view or something like that. It was just more of for Funny. It's, it's late night comedy, really funny, uh, enjoyable, uh -huh. yeah, to be honest with you, I would probably give it a 8, 9 out of 10 maybe, just cause it's, it's really funny, but like, I didn't think it needed 2 and 3 to be honest with you, I thought it was, or I don't think it needed 3, but it needed, it was pretty good, <laughs> uh, The Pursuit of ha Happiness. Now I heard of this this movie before, and I was really interested. And I for some reason never watched it, but uh, yeah, I watched it. Really good movie, must say. It's it's very quite the the sad movie. If you're, it's not sad, but it, it's a good coming of age movie. To be honest with you guys, really enjoyably uh, just to see the whole journey stuff. It it was really good, really enjoyable. I think Will Smith does a damn good job of acting. I would told I'm honestly I think I'm gonna give this a ten out of ten. Nine point five out of ten. It's it was a really good movie. It's probably my favorite out of this whole list. Are you second favorite? I, I'm not too sure. Uh yeah, next up is Holmes and Watson. <laughs> uh, yeah, again, another late night comedy. You guys see here a lot of late night comedies. But yeah. Holmes and Watson was all right. I mean, it was a must, must anticipated, much anticipated uh, come together of John C. Riley and Will Ferrell since since Step Brothers, which I I enjoyed that movie. That movie was funny, but like to be on all in all honesty, I wasn't a huge huge fan of Holmes and Watson. I mean, I found stuff funny, but I don't know. It just I wasn't. A big huge fan of this movie to be honest with you I'll probably give it a 6 out of 10 I wasn't a huge fan I thought it was kind of dumb at some points but but yeah uh, sorry to bother you uh, really enjoyable I, I didn't know this was I didn't think it was gonna be that good but it was damn good I really enjoyed it uh, I thought he did Lakeith Stanfield did a really good job as the time uh, the character the main character uh, really Really good performances out of some of these uh, actors in the movie. Uh, really enjoyable. I'll give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. Uh, Anchorman 1. Again, another late night comedy. Made me laugh. Uh, yeah, it was, it was it was really funny. Uh, I would say 7 out of 10. Uh -huh. Night School. Uh, again, late night comedy again. Pretty funny. Uh, probably I'll give it a seven point five. No, I'll give it an eight. Uh, Cherry. I can't remember what I gave it in the video, but I'm just gonna sit out right now. Go check that video if you want my opinion on it. Whatever. Uh, I'll say it's eight out of ten, maybe eight point five. Uh, Sonic. Sonic is like a seven point five. Knives Out. Uh, very interesting movie. Stand. It's probably the second best. Uh, movie out of all of this I really like Pursuit of Happiness and then I would say Knives Out is second to that but a lot of people it could be different casing but whatever uh, really enjoyable 
probably a 9 out of 10, 9.5. Friday Trilogy, uh, really funny, really enjoyable. Uh, unpopular opinion, but I actually liked Friday too. Um, I thought Friday 2 was really funny, to be honest with you guys. Uh, I mean, Chris Tucker's funny, but I think Ice Cube as a character just progressed better throughout the trilogy instead of just the first one. So, I, yeah, I would honestly rate Friday 1, probably give it, give an 8. Friday 2, 8.5. Friday 3, 8. Uh, Coming to America, really, really good classic movie. Uh, for some reason, I had watched it once, but I couldn't remember it, so I watched it again because Coming to America 2 came out. So, yeah, I would say Coming to America, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, third best movie out of this whole list currently. Uh, last Sunday, I wasn't I, w I wasn't a huge fan, to be honest with you guys. Funny at most parts, but yeah, uh, I would say 7 out of 10. Coming to America... Probably worse than it's the original. I didn't really enjoy it too, too much. I would say 7 out of 10. Hate You Give. Really underrated movie. Really good really good movie. I uh, really enjoy the performances and stuff. Uh, 8 out of 10? I would say or 8.5. 8.5. Solid 8.5. Uh, Predator Trilogy. Without the reboot. I recently... I watched the reboot last month or something like that. So yeah, the Predator Trilogy, I've already talked about it before, but like, Predator 1, uh, 8.5, Predator 2, 7, uh, Predator 3, 8, uh, and then we got the Man in Black movie, or the first two, I'm still, I still have to watch the third one, I don't know what the hell's wrong with me, but yeah, I'm gonna watch the third one soon, uh, Man in Black 1, Got to go with a 9 out of 10. Uh, Predator, I mean, Men in Black 2. I'll give it a 8.5. Um, I really enjoyed the origin, the first one, though. Uh, Kick-Ass 1 and 2. Uh, Kick-Ass 1 was funny. Um, yeah, it was funny. Really enjoy enjoyable. Another late-night comedy, to be honest with you. Uh, solid 8.5. And then Kick-Ass 2, I would say 7.5. wasn't. I liked it, but I didn't like it at the same time. Worse than the first one, but yeah, what are you going to do? So yeah, uh, hopefully next next month I will be doing, or April 30th or whatever, 31st or however long this month goes, I'll be putting out another video with what I've watched for March 2021. So yeah, uh, now you guys got my opinions on some of these movies. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.